Hey, what's up, uh, ladies and gentle tubers? My name is Tyler. Welcome back to the Everide channel. Now, I'll admit, and I'm extremely apologetic for this, this video should be filmed at the Valley of Gratitude, but it's not going to be. It's like 105 degrees here. It's pretty stinking hot. This is kind of like the winter of St. George where there's not a lot of riding done except for at night, which is why I put all these big headlights on my bike. And really, at night, the filming's not all that great, but the riding is. So. Anyway, um, I have a ton of things to talk about, but first and foremost, I wanted to get to the KLR650. Uh, just kind of show you guys around it, and that way, if you're short on time, if you don't care about what I have to say, you can move on, just get your KLR650 fix. Uh, but basically, I have this big, huge list here of all the things that I want to talk about in today's video. <laughs> this is an intense update. Um, Hermit, Hermit the vlog doesn't like update videos, but this is an update video. He did one. I can do one. Uh, so, you guys, uh, let me put on the hat cam, go over the KLR, and then uh, I'll dismiss the class uh, as to, <laughs> you know, what people actually want to see. I am not quite sure whether I want to leave it naked on the side here or put on the, uh, I don't know what they're called, the side skirts. I know what they're called. It's just when I'm making videos, I can't remember this stuff. I'm not sure if I want to put those things on here or just leave it naked. It looks pretty stinking good. Uh, obviously, we have the uh, KLR Dash um, backrest here ready to go. I've just got to button up some electrical before that can go on the rest of the way. Um, but, oh, it's, you guys, this makes things very comfortable along with the seat concept seat. You know, I'm, I'm sorry, you guys, but I've kind of made my KLR into a cruiser. <laughs> A, ca a cruiser that can go off-road, but you know what? I've always kind of loved the look of cruisers. People are gonna just... I, I can feel the digital apples and rotten eggs and pieces of cabbage being thrown at me. I like it, okay? <laughs> um, I like it. That's, that's all there is to it. I like the way that uh, this bike looks. It's a little bit ratty. That was the goal. Uh, but... We are going to use this kind of a fairing. It's not attached right now. It'll attach to these posts. So anyway, wind protection, it offers a little bit better wind protection than the stock KLR650 fairing. Uh, but it's very easily removable. You just undo these posts and boom, it's done, ready to go. And then you have like this nice looking uh, LED array up front, you know? Little, little TIE fighter action going on, if you will. Let me put this over here. So anyway, uh, that's the look of it. You can see this rack. I've done videos on how I've done all this stuff. I've also got a fender down here that's basically just an old DRZ fender that's cut in half and uh, put on the fork brace that was given to me by Alex B. Thank you very much, Alex. Outback Motor Tech stuff's all on it. Exhaust has been repainted with high heat. We've got a Lex exhaust on there. Tusk rear racks, uh, Kalar Dash backrest on here. We've got the Tusk pannier that fits on the racks really, really nicely, obviously. Again, not so sure if I want to put the uh, the skirt thing on the side there. Might want to leave it naked. Looks kind of cool. I'm pretty sure I'll leave this naked up front. Just uh, I just like the look of it. You know what I mean? Uh, the hand guards are going to go back on here. I was just painting those with some truck bed liner, of course. Uh, they used to be white up here, but now they're all just black and gnarly looking. Um, new fork boots and and then oh yeah the the Tusk floating front brake. This thing is a monster. But that's the KLR650 as it stands right now. Um, still a work in progress, but I'm pretty stoked about it. You guys want to hear it? Uh, we'll go ahead and turn it on. That's my low beam there. And uh, my high beam, like that. We might get a little diode and hook it up so that all three lights come on when high beam's on. But for low beam, one of these isn't going to blind anybody. Should be fine. Uh, let's start it up. Might want to turn on the gas. It still has that good old-fashioned KLR chug. I love that. With the Lex exhaust, it's not overly loud, which I absolutely love. I didn't want a loud exhaust. This sounds a little bit more throaty than stock, and when I wrap it out... Oh! Oh! I really like the sound of it. Uh, plus, it, it, the stock exhaust is so heavy, so this reduced weight by a lot sounds really good, but it's not overly loud when you're on the highway and you don't want to be deaf for years to come. 
Love that thing. So this thing, this thing is is basically been rebuilt to be a highway cruiser, and uh, that's the way I likes it. I don't really need another off-road machine, even though this will and can and will do it fine, really. Uh, but you know, for the stuff around here, I've got these bikes. So. If you're not interested in anything else, you may leave. Uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying the KLR uh, rebuild makeover. But for now, it's time to get to this huge, huge list. Today's stuff to yak about should be at the Valley of Gratitude. Um, <laughs> basically what happened, guys, is so I went on a ride the other day, a solo ride, and I seriously can't help myself. Um, I found a trail. I had to take it. I got lost. I got stuck in a few places. Things got a little bit crazy, almost died, ran out of water. Typical day for a solo ever ride uh, excursion. Um, I only edited out one part really, uh, and that's uh, where I had to go through a fence, um, but I was locked in, not out, so don't judge me. I also had to do a little bit of overlanding, but honestly, if it comes to getting through an area or risking my life, I'm going to uh, get through an area every time. Anyway, um, okay. Patreon stuff. We're talking about some Patreon stuff. Videos like this where I walk around a bike or a moto vlog or anything like that, just to make it very clear, those videos are not paid videos. Patrons will not pay me for those videos. The videos that I'm going to ask for contributions for um, that I can select is the very cinematic videos or videos that I've done a ton of research, unbiased uh, review videos, things like that. And for patrons, I want to remind you guys that you can adjust the level of your patronage at any time and you can totally quit patronage altogether. Honestly, I'm really quite nervous. Um, there's a lot of people. It's been overwhelming, you guys, and um, I am ridiculously, ridiculously thankful. I didn't think I'd meet the first goal for months. Um, and, uh, you know, we're well on our way to reaching the second goal, which I didn't ever think would happen honestly and uh, we're on our way to reaching the second goal and w the patreon page hasn't even been up for a week so um, extremely grateful for that you guys extremely grateful um, I don't have a whole lot of I don't have a lot of words that can express um, anyway so I'll continue on the on the stuff um, one thing that I do really like about the patreon model is that you can say I will I will pledge X amount for one video per month and then you don't have to pledge for any other videos per month so you never have to worry about me taking advantage of people um, even if I wouldn't do that anyway I, I, I feel like I have to work so hard for just the patronage that I've received uh, already that I'm really gonna be putting a ton of effort into it so um, you don't need to worry about me putting out 10 paid videos that are just all pure crap um, it's gonna be my best stuff so uh, you know I know that some people are they've done a high pledge but then they only pledge for one video and so you know they pledge one video and then they don't pay for any other cinematic videos the rest of the month um, which is a, a really good way to go actually that way I'm not gaming the system that way you never feel like I could do that um, just letting you know that's an option. I just want to be totally upfront and honest with everybody. Uh, the videos that I will be posting to Patreon early um, will be like draft videos. And so you'll be able to see dra like rough drafts of the videos that I'm putting out. And honestly, if you're like, well, that's not worth my money or that's not worth my time, then you're, you're totally welcome to withdraw your pledge uh, for that month or limit your pledge down or whatever you want to do. Um, I just, you know, I don't, I, this Patreon thing is hard enough for me to do, and it's it's really quite stressful, and I don't want to ever, ever, ever take advantage of anybody, um, especially since your generosity has just been so enormous. So um, that's that's kind of first and foremost. That's what I wanted to talk about. Uh, and also, you know, sponsored videos, those will not, eat, as, as cinematic as I may make those, those will not be, um, I, I will never charge patrons for those as well. Uh, for sponsored videos, either I'm getting products or I'm getting um, uh, paid. So there's no need for me to double dip. Um, something that I'm so grateful for, you guys, is that I'm I'm actually making it. So it it blows my mind. Um, my wife and I have just been in shock the last couple of days, um, and it just keep it just continues. It, it's it's crazy. So anyway. 
my goodness. Um, <laughs> okay, anyway, on to the stuff. Um, okay, so international stickers. This is really good news. That goal was funded um, when, the, when the Patreon pitch was still just on the Raw channel. Absolutely blows my mind. So, uh, if you're international and you want a free sticker, you can go ahead and get yourself a free sticker. It is 100% free, but in the form, I'll just, just be forewarned, um, it is still about three dollars to send a sticker internationally. Um, so, I do urge you to at least help pay for shipping by becoming a patron for just one video. Uh, you know, and then if you like the perks, you can stay for more. But anyway, they will be totally free if you're international and you don't want to contribute, you just want a sticker, um, I will send you one. Uh, however, if you want to help, I would really appreciate that too because I'll probably get hundreds, maybe thousands, uh, or at least a thousand um, sticker requests. And at three bucks a pop, that's gonna, that's basically gonna totally wash out everything that I get on Patreon for a while. Um, so, yeah, please help. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna cost a lot, uh, and it'll, they'll they'll come faster because obviously I'm not gonna go into debt to send stickers, but they will come faster if I have money to send them. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. The international stickers there will there will be a form in the description. Giveaways. I said in my Patreon that I'm gonna do some giveaways, and the first thing I'm giving away is courtesy from my buddy Nick, also known as Chaotic Detour. Sorry, Nicholas. I believe he told me that he liked to go by uh, Nicholas. Um, and that giveaway is, please pardon me for the rawness of this video, by the way. Um, I'm working very, very hard to try to get the KLR finished for um, a trip that I'm going on with the Rocky Mountain ATV guys. I'm trying to get it K uh, really, you know, reliable and ready to go for that trip, make sure everything works well. So I've been working like a dog on this bike and also um, just trying to keep up with uh, all of the awesome messages and comments on Patreon because those guys do get first priority with comments. The giveaway, uh, if you have a large head and you're a patron in that level, um, not a large head, but a lo the size large, <laughs> uh, we've got this uh, beautiful brand new uh, Speed and Strength uh, SS2500, I believe. Orange color, this thing's never been worn. It's, this is a sweet helmet. Um, plus, you get the, the uh, Beautiful, beautiful visor. Man, that thing's sweet. I didn't even realize it had a, had a mirrored visor on there. This is my buddy Nick's uh, contribution to the channel. Um, he's kind of like a super patron now, and so uh, this is what we'll be giving away for the first one. So if you have a size large head, and you would like to have a, uh, a very nice helmet for you, speed and strength, if you need a dual sport helmet, I'm gonna be uh, posting up details on the uh, Patreon page for basically the, the people who are in the giveaway running, for those people who pledge uh, in that category. So, there's that. I'll be putting this right here, ready to ship it. Back to the list of things to yak about. So grateful to not have engine braking right now. That's the best thing about a recluse. So, uh, I'm sorry to keep bringing it up, I really don't want to talk about it that much, but there is big news for the channel. The next goal is to start reviewing bikes and gear that I buy myself, uh, and maybe if it's a bike, I'll fix it up, get it running, do a review on it, and then uh, bash it around, 
maybe do a makeover and then um, and then sell it and uh, basically those patreon pledges uh, will allow me to do that so that could start very soon realistically I never thought I'd even reach that goal but it looks like I'll, I, I might be reaching that goal within the first uh, week and <laughs> I'm really grateful because I actually kind of changed the goals. Before before anybody had really um, become a patron, uh, the goals were to basically have people pick where I'd go on international adventures, and then I would go. And I kind of realized, I talked that over with my wife, and I realized, yeah, I've got a brand new, you know, infant. Um, I should probably keep things fairly local for now. <laughs> but uh, maybe for future Patreon goals, um, you guys can send me somewhere internationally. Uh, we'll see. And then I'll, I'll make videos and basically do almost like a country review, you know, like, hey, this is how much it costs, this is what you can expect, these are things to watch out for. I think that would be some really valuable information for the, uh, more, for the, for the more long-range-minded uh, people in my audience. So, anyway, we talked about that. Some really big changes. Well, basically what's happened is I've been kind of freed from the jaws of YouTube and YouTube statistics and mean trolls and things like that, which blows my mind once again. So uh, no longer do I really have to worry about being huge with keywords and really, you know, making my uh, audience gigantic or anything like that. I can basically focus now on the videos that you guys want to see. That doesn't mean everything has to be crazy cinematic. That doesn't mean that I have to try to pitch or sell something every single video, which is really nice. For you people who are patrons, give me suggestions on things that you'd like to see, things that you love to see, uh, videos in the past that you've really enjoyed, and again, send me those messages on Patreon. That's one of your perks that you get. Um, when you send a message, I will respond right back. Um, that's, that's a commitment to you. Obviously, it could take a day, because, you know, I, I'm doing things, <laughs> I have a life, I can't just be always responding to, to things. But, uh, unlike YouTube where things get caught in the fray, I have a special kind of priority notifications thing set up on my email where those messages get to me, and I can have them at the top of the box all the time, so I'll be able to get back to those really quickly. Uh, so you guys get first priority on any incoming communications, um, so it won't fall through the cracks, which I've had a big problem with in the past. If you're a patron or a gentle deucer, use that perk. Uh, feel free to comment or, or send me a message whenever you want, and uh, I'll get back to you. Um, I'm at your disposal. I'll, I'll help you with whatever you need, or, or try to direct you in a way that uh, that you'll that you'll have it. Um, Comments are kind of freaking me out. I still haven't checked any YouTube or Facebook comments about patron posts. Um, basically, they make me extremely nervous. I kind of start to freak out uh, because a little bit of negativity, basically, um, I'm still in kind of a funk, and a little bit of negativity goes a long way to really put me over the edge. I know that sounds like I have super thin skin, but, um, you know, realistically, I do. And so, um, I'm not even looking at those until um, until this is kind of over and I can stop talking about Patreon because I know that there's a lot of hate out there for me and for uh, you know any kind of monetization. Uh, so I'm I'm really not looking at those comments yet. Oh, you know what? One other kind of thing that's happened that's a really positive thing about Patreon. I'm sorry, this is all Patreon, Patreon, Patreon. You guys are probably so tired of it. You know what? I, I actually did look at my subscriptions and my subscriptions did drop quite a bit on both the Raw channel and the and the live channel. I lost a bunch of subscribers when I moved to Patreon. And you know what? That is just fine because those people are negative anyway and they can leave and we're fine without them. Um, that's the way I have to that's the way I have to roll. Um, so you know that's good because I don't have to worry about pandering to everybody and anybody. So one of the uh, kind of unforeseen um, things that this Patreon campaign has done, and something that I never expected, because I never expected to go very high, it's actually really boosted a lot of uh, credibility with with sponsorships, truthfully. You know, that that's not a consequence yeah, that we thought would happen, but it's something that's pretty cool. Um, I got contacted by a potential sponsor today. They said, hey, we'd like to offer you X amount per video, and so I was able to say, you know, sorry, but I'd rather make content for my audience and actually get paid more and do things that they like. It kind of gives me a little bit of extra clout there, and that's really cool. It's kind of boosted the value of my of my channel, and realistically, uh, I don't have to accept super super low sponsorships anymore. Um, I can I can kind of accept the the bigger ones because I can always say, 
hey, if I make a video for my audience, something that they really want, and make more money than what you're offering, why would I, why would I try to pitch your product? Anyway, guys, that's pretty awesome. So one last thing before I let you go, guys, about the Badlands tours. Uh, I am still working on that idea. We're still figuring things out. That's still going on. That's something in the works for the future. All right, guys, anyway, my kids came out in the garage to talk to me. What do you guys have to say to all these people who, who have been so ridiculously nice? Much love. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> nice. Also, thanks to Dave at ADB Addicts. Sent over this super cool shirt for, for my boy here. Um, love it. Thanks, man. So uh, that's it for me, guys. Much love to all of you, and uh, thank you, guys. Really, um, really, I mean it. This has helped in so many ways that, and unseen ways that I didn't expect. So thank you, guys. And uh, even if you haven't contributed and never plan to, I don't care. Thank you for watching and, and um, all the kind comments and and for you know making this dream a reality. So uh, much love, guys. Ever right out. It's right, dig it, dig it, dig it, afternoon delight. <laughs> I love that that's the song that came on, the joke song. Uh, actually, I love this song. Grabbing <laughs> sticks and stones again, there's all the sparks at night. Rubbing sticks and stones together make the sparks ignite. And the thought of rubbing you is getting so excited. Sky rockets in flight